you know. The server's quite empty. It's not quite a f it's not even a quarter full. It's about f a fifth full. But <clears throat> maybe do a loot run. Sort of guide walk through first hour. Depending on where I spawn, because I've done a couple of those already. <clears throat> I think I've done a prig one. Um Definitely done a sort of a flat low one. Oh, Berezino, okay. Lower Berezino. I don't think it gets pitch black here, so... We're going to ditch our... Uh, with that for insulation purposes for a minute. The idea is just to have a leisurely stroll around Chinaris. If we get into any mischief, then we get into mischief. It is what it is. It's a weird one, this. They start you off with a bandage and a can opener. The can opener is nice, I suppose, if you find tins. <laughs> a gas canister. Nothing in there. This is day one Chinara, so it's, it's, it's quite vanilla, vanilla-y. For want of a better word. Very vanilla, actually. Um, Talishanka for insulation. Straight off the bat, we'll get some worn hand... Hand... Rags. Just so we haven't got to worry about bloody hands. If we can cut up a chicken or a person for rope and hooks, maybe. S straight away, we're looking after things that will save us time. Save us effort having to wash our hands. If we are cutting anything up. And our first food. Some crackers. Take the edge off the hunger. Stash. We've got some trail shoes there. Put them on, and that's our first bit of hydration. A Pepsi, if I could pick it up. Adds a little bit of nutritional value to you against the hunger as well. Not a bad start. We've got a melee weapon that doubles up as something that can cut off bark and cut rags as well in the screwdriver. Hoping to improve that quickly, of course, but it is what it is at the start. Nothing in the shed. Let's check beige. Sporter, I mean... And there we go. Pristine rags. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're looking for pristine rags all the time because around Berezino, big city like this, big town like this, we want to use foot, foot wraps. We want to be as stealthy as possible in case we want to push on someone. And also just not to give our position away quickly. If we're walking nearby to someone, even if we don't know they're there, we don't want to let them know we're there before we know they're there, ideally. And the foot wraps help immensely. And of course, they help from stopping you aggroing Zeds easier than you would do with boots and sneakers on, etc. Okay. A couple of Zeds around here. We might have to take this nearest one who's aggroed onto us. Oops. Oh, 
Oh, this is bad. Okay. So you create distance. Sometimes just don't take the fight. You don't want to be f a red pen, no thanks. You don't want to be fucking fighting three zombies straight off the bat with a screwdriver. A sledgy or a baseball bat or an axe even. Yeah, maybe. They may drop shit as well, so it might be nice to fight them, but not this early. Hello? We'll take that just for the 9 mil that's in it, in case we find a Glock later down the line. And there's two things I normally do. I will either go this way, or I'll go straight into the main town down that way. But I, we haven't got much loot straight off the bat. We haven't been super lucky. So we're going to hit this part of town, sort of a cross between industrial and residential buildings, to find some goodies, we hope. <whistles> draw, that, draw this head away from any others. Preemptive strike. Killed her before she could even attempt to hit us. We know this other one's by there. It's trash. Fishing rod is an option. Kill a chicken, we've got the, the hooks then to go fishing. Option, options. Scarf for the insulation. Then I like hitting these sheds by here. Oops. We don't want that, we don't want a battery. much luck off the Zeds. They're not dropping much for us. Quick glance in here. No, only seeds. Put the screwdriver away because we don't want to look at immediate menace if someone sees us. And then, even though we're yellow food, we're not in a massive rush. We don't want to be... There we go. Oh, what am I doing? I've just swapped the same pristine jeans for the same pristine jeans. Whatever. I assumed I had shit trousers on because I'm so used to playing servers where you've just got those fucking shitty shorts. Out into the main road. Quick check, there's no one on us. Hello? You gonna attack or...? Again, note. Note in there. I'm not gonna. I'm only gonna target what I'm searching. So we go in here because these can be really good for food. There you go. A belt and some food. A 
beer, more hydration. We're on the lookout for pristine rags because we know the foot wraps are going to go eventually. So we check everything. Again, the apartments. And then we've picked up a, a P1 mag, so a bit more 9mm in that. Even if we don't find the corresponding gun, we might find another 9mm gun, a Glock or something. We can use that with, you know, four. This one's got an upstairs apartment. These can spawn goodies, but not today. I nearly walked past that then. Unreal to find a CR rifle. Badly damaged, no ammo, but phew, if we find any... 7x39 SKS ammo, that's a fucking one-shot kill weapon right there in the right hands does make us a little bit of a target people will want that there's our first bleed Hugely concerned about that because we are going to go near the, the medical very soon. Didn't time that well. Nothing in the jacket. Check there's no one camping the stairs. When I open the door, look, I'm strafing past it in case someone's aiming down sight at me. Nothing in the piano. We're sick. Even though all our fucking vitals are white, we're sick. <clears throat> to me, that doesn't make a lot of sense. But there we go. It is what it is. Daisy. Make sure no one's sniping on top of the FD. That can happen. A lot of people love it. Geared guys in Berezino, be be very prepared to see shit like that. Now these are very close to aggroing on me, so I'm getting away from them quick. We've ag aggroed that one instead. Time your power attack so they run into it. We'll take a battery because why not? <laughs> and if you notice what they were, they were pristine rag potential garments. So now we got spares for subsequent foot wraps. Our melee weapon has taken a bit of a beating, so we're going to need to replace that soon. Barbed wire, that would be lovely if we had a baseball bat. We could make Lucille. But we haven't. I was just going to say, I always find them decent for ammo, but not today. Now, obviously massive potential for people to spawn in up there and just run past the PD. So I'm always... Putting a little, putting my eyes down the road. See if I can see a freshy sprinting up the hill, you know, up the road. Even though we're sick. There we go. Say well worth searching that just for this brisket spread. Keep us going. Remember, I found the CR rifle at the top of one of these, so well worth searching even in spawn towns apparent t 
tier 1 loot areas, you can still get shit like a CR rifle. Hit the shops up. Um, another belt we don't need. Nothing else. And then before I hit the PD, I'm going to turn this corner. No one's sipping at the well. We're going to go to medical first. More food. Keep us going. Checking these sheds to get a replacement cut in. You know, a bladed article, something that can double up as a melee would be great. Uh, hello? Just checking, no one's lurking. Before we check the apartments, up and down in this one. Sometimes these are overlooked. People don't bother coming up. And uh, they're a good source of food and ammo. Tier 1 ammo, anyway. Obviously, now I've said that, nothing's going to be there. Um, let me just look. This layered shirt, low insulation. This one's low as well. But it's pristine. So, again, we're going to use it for rags to use as foot wraps. When these ones get worn out... But I'm, they're on my feet now. So we've got more than enough for the old replacement foot wraps. We've got seven pristine rags now. I'd ideally have two full sets, so I need five more for the two full sets. Can of food and a rucksack. There we go. Brilliant. Now we can loot with the freedom of knowing we've got the capacity to carry. Now that's been dropped. That hasn't been. That isn't spawning there. That's been dropped. Someone's made that and then dropped it. So maybe they found a rucksack like I did, a bigger one change their mind that's better insulation so we swap our hat and then we go for the medical and see if anyone is there anyone's friendly or not get the screwdriver out ready I think it's the fire department zombies that are going to come across the wall to me. Oh no, it's a medical one. <coughs> Excuse me. Frog in my throat. That one trapped itself. That was really nice, wasn't it? Zombie just walking in. Zombie over there. It was for a crowbar or something I've searched these for, but not find anything. Always search the cars and buildings in the vicinity of the medical. Same goes for PDs, etc. Because... Very strong chance medical shit will spawn there. There's codeine. It's an IV start kit. Search the clothing. There's nothing inside that one, but they could have been. No thanks. You can stay in there, buddy. So someone's trapped him. This one we're going to have to fight.
And it was worth it. Food and drink. We'll check that building last on our way back towards the well and the PD because that spawns medical stuff as well. Morphine. We'll just go into the medical. All the doors are shut, apart from that one. We're not... We go, we're, we're in here dipping in and out. We're not sorting loot. We just... Gloves, we've already got gloves, but look at that. Behind there, you full, full bandage. Thank you very much. Saline. Tetracycline. We've beaten the fucking... And another bandage. Look at that. Before our screwdriver ruins and we haven't got another blade, peel the potato. Get the nutrition down you. Make the room in your inventory. Eat the fucking thing, basically. While all the while knowing someone trapped that zombie in the garage. So someone's been through. When I when I spawn here, see, I'm looking to go up to Kelm Summer Camp and Kelm afterwards. And then we go inland from Kelm. Bit of food and drink. Keep the vitals in the white. High in the white. Now what I want to do... Quickly. Sort out my inventory. Another way of making space is combine the saline with the IV star kit. Now if I lose a lot of blood, I'm that saline star kit is ready to go. The codeine is combined. The tetra. The morphine stick. Food in the pocket. Along with two bandages. And then I've got one use of a bandage down here. Rags. Saline, my fishing rod. That's my only melee at the minute. These are my only. That's what I would call a sundry item. I think I just should aggro. School doors are open. Whatever. <coughs> Headed for the PD and the well now. We might as well hit the shops on the way. See, make sure no one's camping the school roof. Make sure no one's sneaking behind you as you've left the building you were just in. Matches. Pretty convenient. Ruined zucchini, we can't eat that. Remember, up and down on these. Nothing downstairs doesn't mean there's nothing going to be upstairs. It's going to be empty upstairs. That goes for, there could be someone sitting here as well. <laughs> Trying to see out the dark, maybe cook some food. Nothing, okay. Making our way towards the two sort of concession shops that are just before the pub, before the Berezino well. And if we see someone, we will try and talk to them. We don't want to be KOS unless they look super geared and we want to try and make a move and pinch their shit. What the fuck is a tent doing here? Don't know. No one blatantly sat at the well. 
bit of food. I'm not going to eat it straight away because we're in a bit of a danger zone here. That just looks like bait to me. But the chances of there being anything there is less than minute. We haven't got a water bottle. Oh, <laughs> okay, scripted. Empty it out because we don't want to drink the poo water. Potential poo water. Little scan of the roof and the windows. People have been known to fucking sit in there and snipe people at the well. Chicken back there somewhere. Drink a bottle of water in the corner. While moving in case someone is sniping me at the PD. Sniping at me, I should say. And we're going to search the PD, see if we can get a weapon. Remember, we've got the... F we've got the... We've got the can of unknown. So, with this bottle of water we've just necked and the bottle we're taking with us, food and water is not an issue now. And there's two wells up at Kelm, anyway. Fuck it. Let's get the screwdriver out because the chances are we're going to have to fight Zeds here. But I am on the front door of the PD is shut. Fuck the cuffs. Scorpion mag. You should be able to tell pretty quickly if people have been here recently. Right, both doors were shut. Suggests either someone's upstairs or no one has been here since there's been a reset, which would be good. It means there might be loot upstairs, but then I would have thought there would be a shotty in the first room. But all these doors are closed as well, even though I'm wearing the foot wraps, they can still hear me. The Zeds, little fax, <coughs> Mlock Mag, yeah. We will skim the roof. I mean, it's not ideal. You can get sniped. If you do it quickly like that, you should be okay. <coughs> Let's eat our brisket spread before we move on. Now, the lack of a melee weapon is a bit concerning. This is going to ruin soon. And this is the way I normally leave the PD. I'm crouch walking, but I'm moving quick. just means I didn't trigger all the zombies. I don't mind triggering individual zombies, but I don't want three or four on me by a PD in a spawn town, making a shit ton of noise. I gotta fight them. I got my back against them, maybe. Back, you know, my arms up. And someone can come and I'm an easy target. Right. This is a bad situation. I've just triggered two. So I'm just running. Right? 
You look back, they've gone into the middle of the road looking for me, or where I was. They haven't followed where I've gone, because I've just booked it. Absolutely booked it out of there. And I didn't, you know, if I'd have panicked and just stood still, I'm fighting two zombies now in a spawn town by a PD. We're half an hour in from this spawn. We're leaving the spawn town. All our vitals are in the white. But we're missing certain bits of equipment that we would want before we went inland. So that's why we're still quite thoroughly looting. And that's why we still plan to go to Kelm Town Village itself, not just the summer camp. But because of what all our vitals are in the white, we'll do the summer camp first. Just in case someone's got the same idea as, as us. But they're five or ten minutes behind us. We don't want them getting there first and potentially getting the loots. Remember, we have got to see our rifle. Just checking behind us. No obvious tail. But, you know, it's dark. We could get jumped, jacked, sniped at any time. It's Daisy at the end of the day. But just being as careful as you can without... Without having to crouch walk everywhere. You don't want to be ridiculous, you know? It'll take you an hour to get from one part of town to the other. Oh, here we go. Now, I, I prefer the blue jeans. But obviously, if you've noticed there... Pretty huge that we can chamber our rifle now. I hope this doesn't ruin our screwdriver. I'll show you why in a sec. No, I don't think it did. No. You want to make sure the last use of your bladed weapon... Uh, blade, oh, I've got a can opener, haven't I? What am I doing? If you didn't have a can opener, then you want to make sure you open your last tin of food, or eight tin of food, before you ruin that item. Otherwise, you're in a bit of shit. But now we've got a weapon that we can fire. And even with iron sights and the fact that it's badly damaged, because it's a rifle, it won't jam just means that a chambered rifle it won't jam it just means it can get ruined if we shot it two three times it might ruin and then you can't use it again so without a gun cleaning kit you know we wouldn't be able to use it again once it's ruined oh no i wasn't paying attention as i was talking that's a massive learning curve there even players who've been playing for ages like me because i was talking I forgot I was eating unknown food, which makes you sick if you eat too much of it. Only eat a quarter of the can. Then put it away. Wait for your arrows to go down like they're doing now. Then eat again. And I was just talking about my fucking CR rifle. And at, what, 60-65% of the can? Like a twat. But, uh, it shouldn't be irreparable harm. We're still in the white. We haven't lost that much hydration and, and nutrition. Oh, shit. If we were desperate for food, we'd probably shoot that. But do we want to give away our position? We'll take, we'll take the rope, and then we can bin the fishing rod. Because we only need bones now, and then we can make an improvised fishing hook. Ah, look, he's attacking the goat. This is even better. He may go on now, that zombie, to kill the goat. And then we'll end up with free goat meat. Fat. Bones. Without having to fire a shot.
Miss Carnage. Let's get in a sec. Loot. Nothing. They'll fight him in the doorway. Because they're fucking idiots. Being zombies. They seem to struggle with the concept of doorways and they get stuck behind one another. Well, this one's a tank. Still a tank. Food. Nothing. Screwdriver's still going. Here's another happy customer. Oh, terrible. Love it. When you miss time it like that. Stone knife. Now that's critical because this is now ruined. Look at the timing on that. It's a piss poor melee weapon, but it'll cut shit up. It'll make the rags cut a person up. What happened with the goat? Has anyone killed the goat? Any zombies killed the goat? Please step forward. If you have. I can't hear the goats anymore. Oh shit. Oh, that's a dead zombie. Oh. He is running around still. I think if, as long as I don't overeat or drink again now when the stomach symbol comes up, I won't be sick again. It's only, it's only if you actually... What? Floyd Mayweather zombie? Glitch onto the roof. Might as well fell while I'm here. A lot of noise gone on around here because of the goats and that, so and the Zeds we've had to fight. Oh shit, it's gone into the shed, is it? It's glitched into the shed. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of luck, wasn't it? Glitched into the shed. Three power hits with a slow knife. Dead. No bullet or noise required. joking I mean it's worth it just for the bones fat steak all right not the end of the world Place the food. See? As soon as that stomach sign come up there and I stopped eating. Where's the... Oh, look at this. Here's the black goat. The buck. Might have ourselves a little cook-up in Calm. Or we might even do it up in the summer camp. Just say, fuck it, do it in the lodge. <laughs> Ah, 
now it's worth setting a fire because we've got four pieces of meat. If you check the foot wraps, they're now damaged, but they'll they'll get us up to the summer camp, and then we can just make new ones up there. But for the stuff we're carrying, we've got quite a lot of gear, early doors there, but we're still, look, at 95% stamina, so we can still move, even though we've got a rifle on our back. We're not massively over-encumbered. Well, not at all. But the it needs sorting, but there's no point sorting it until we've cooked the stuff. You know, the person who trapped the zombie at the medical in Berezino could have either come up here or might have just moved straight to Upper Berezino. They might be going to Gorka from Upper Berezino. Very common loot run. So we might get really lucky up here, find some nice stuff, and be able to cook in the pub in peace if we want to. Look at that, like a boy scout. got the stuff for the fire already. We've only got to break that long stick down. We've got matches, they're not damp, so we're away. Shit, I was running the wrong way then. I want to stay off the road in case someone's coming down. Maybe they did come here, see, straight after the, the, the medical in Berezino. I have come off this side of the road before approaching the main gate which is coming up shortly and seen someone check their map at the main gate and then I just blasted them with the M-lock I had. Obviously now we could um, give them the old uh, iron sights. Yeah they were right by there. I just... Boop. Coming in at this angle allows you to see if anyone is obviously in the pub as well. Ooh, back door's locked. Kill zombie were there though. Oh, and the front door's open. So they were probably in the uh, cooking. way on that. Doesn't feel right. I'm going to put the gun away actually. I, I always come up here. The fact that it's dark is great as well. We've got the foot wraps on remember. Even with the foot wraps, that fucking zombie is aggroed on us. What a fucking idiot. Giving me away now to anyone who's further down in the summer camp. Marvellous. Gotta love it. So you're going to pay with your undead life now, Mr. Zombie. Cuts you to death with a stone knife. What I'm going to do is just duck down behind this tree. And get me some new foot wraps that are pristine. So we haven't got to worry about that for, for them for a long time now. 
another 40 minutes odd. So we're 45 minutes into the run and we put them on after about four or five minutes. So yeah, they're about, it'll give you about 40 minutes. Just looking for anything obvious. Can't see it. Binos, I mean... Probably should take them for scouting out places further down the line. While I've got the room, I'm going to pick them up. Better insulation jumper. Better colour as well. Chlorine tabs, pretty huge when you start going inland. Right, suspicious, disturbing. Seven by foot, and you know, I just don't know why anybody would pick up a box of. Mose in ammo and then drop it on the floor outside. Makes no sense. But we'll take it. Thank you very much. It's a bit odd though. Why someone would do that. I'm being a bit blasé because I just want to show you the loot run, really. From Berezino up to Kelm, Summer Camp, and then town itself. Finish off by cooking up the meat, and that would be almost an hour in. Now, that's better. Hunter jacket. Now, ah, we got some capacity. Chicken over there, but we don't need the bones of the chicken. I mean, the meat, I suppose, we could use, but... We got mags and bullets for a lot of ting, but we got only one battered CR rifle at the minute. Obviously better than nothing, but military sweater. Yeah, prefer the hunting thing to be honest. And now we can afford to carry two knives. Much better position now with the with one for me, one for melee, one for chopping shit. Is the way I would look at that. Struggling around with our screwdriver and stone knife for forty five minutes, and then come out trumps. I'm gonna put that on a minute. I'm gonna put it in the pa the trousers because the the hunter jacket is best insulation anyway. Whereas the jeans are medium, so put them on in the put, activate it, put them in the jeans, but at the, the, the lower insulation level, and you get better overall insulation. There's not many zombies here, mind. I don't think we're far behind someone. There's bits and pieces like the blades and stuff, but there's also not a lot of stuff. It's almost as if super geared person come through here because why would they be leaving Mose in ammo? We don't need three knives, that's just ridiculous. Well, we're gonna have to deal with this motherfucker. Give him the old alley shuffle. Another one's triggered on us now as well. Thought I just saw movement over there. 
Hello. <coughs> More chlorine tabs. Add them to the pile. Nothing else, I don't think. Nope. This bitch going. Honest to God. What are you doing? Oh. Now that is a melee. So see our stamina has gone down now, but it's still 80%. I can live with that. Stay away from the main entrance. Go slightly wide. But we really, in terms of guns, we're really pushing our luck just having a badly damaged CR rifle with four shots. And a prayer, really. Iron sights only. I thought I'd picked up a hunting scope for it then, but it was a handgun scope. Which we're only ever going to need on a longhorn, and most longhorns come with a handgun scope already on them. So I'm not really bothered about picking it up just in case we get a desert eagle with a mag. You know, I'm hoping to get a revolver, not a eagle anyway. So we head down to Kelm itself. That was the summer camp. Now we head down to the village. And we're going to thoroughly loot it because, again, we need guns. We need ammo be because we're carrying all sorts of ammo and mags at the minute because we don't know our setup. We can start sorting our loot and getting rid of shit once we know, okay, we're going with this rifle, this backup pistol, whatever it is, or this shotty, this pistol. We haven't got anything at the minute other than the CR, so... While we're walking down here, we'll eat our tuna. Well, I know this is pretty dark, but you get the idea. You'll be able to see more now when we get down to the village itself, town itself. Make sure no one's coming up alongside us on the road. And then another little, some might say, snaky move I do. When I go, just before I go back to the village, which is over there, I want to overlook the well of the farm where we got the goats because if we see someone semi stacked just happen to be filling up a bottle of what they're sipping at the well I mean you've got to take opportunities like that gift horse mouth and all that so we pull our gun by here so that it doesn't make a noise too close to the well and we just peek over the and look there's zombies respawned Actually, we've got the binos, haven't we? See, they're not aggro, they're just chilling. So we swerve slightly left of the farm, and you'll start seeing buildings like that one. There's a chill Z. And now we've got a hatchet. We've got something pretty tasty as our melee. Check the toilet block. No ammo. Okay, we're going to have to deal with this motherfucker. And I got him in. Qu I got in there quick before he made the noise. In case someone's up in the village. And then I tend to come round this way. See? That's back down to Berezino. This little road here leads into Kelm village itself. And I'll cross the road. Here. Keeping an eye out behind me. And ahead. See if there's any fires going in any of these first houses. Gift horse, mouth. Dark, we're in the middle of a wooded area. Probably normally wouldn't take the risk and gut it here, but whatever.
makes the fire more worthwhile now as well. We've got six pe pieces of meat, the two fat, the two steaks from the goats, and now two chicken breast. So it's well worth making the fire and cooking that up to take on our way. Obviously, we're not going to go on our way. We're only going to go just past looting this entire town and getting the fire going. See if anything happens while we're doing it. If we bump into anybody. Popular loot place, this. Obviously, the summer camp is obvious, but you can get some decent shit in Kelm itself as well. There's a leather kit. So if we do get a oh, if we do get a press vest or something and it gets banged up, we can repair it now. Oh fuck off, Granny. She's giving me away now. So if anyone is here, they know I'm here. So that's why you've got to time these perfectly, these um, power attacks, to get rid of the zombie as quick as possible so you're not standing still. Actually, have got a bit of 380 as well. We didn't find a scorpion down in town. So we take the 380 out of these two mags ditch them and now we've got a worn IJ we can chamber it It's better than having nothing. And we can we can shoot the the CR one at a time. We can shoot the IJ one at a time. It's not ideal, of course it's not. But beggars can't be choosers when you're in your first hour of your life, you know. You still headshot someone with that IJ and kill him. Simple as that. Or hit him, reload, hit him again, reload, hit him again. They they're probably uncon. Easier said than done, but. If we find an IJ mag, it's a whole new story. So it was well worth making the room for it, regardless. And nothing in the pub. And then as we as we round this corner, we're approaching the well. So if you were going to see people, bigger chances any are going to be around the well. Shops. Fuck, I haven't got iodine, but we haven't got room for it. It's amazing how much shit I've managed to pick up just from this spawn, you know? We don't need to hit the well. I probably would on the way out if I was taking this character on to Gorka or somewhere like that. But at the minute we don't. Our hydration is fine and we, you know. <laughs> A runner scared me then. So there's the well. 
Make sure 100% no one's there. They're not. It's dark. I might trigger a zombie by accident, so I'm going to put my hatchet in my hand. I might run smack bang into someone. Dark Ushanka, much better to blend in. We don't need matches. We got a lighter. Man, he's going to aggro now, isn't she? Yeah. Boop. Boop. So sometimes it's better to deal. Hello. One by one. Okay, nothing we can do. She's seen us. Let's get the Mortal Kombat on her. Finish her. That run a bitch. Oh, shit. She give me the old dummy then. That's her done. Being as we're fighting two, to get away without getting a cut is pretty good. You know, beggars can't be choosers at the beginning of your life. Grab all the food. You can prioritize when you're sorting your loot. Do you know what I mean? This is a pretty dreamy start. If you're getting that lower Berezino spawn. The only thing we're missing is a really nice firearm. Like a pumpy or a double barrel with like 10 slugs. An IJ with like two full mags, say. But in terms of surviving, okay, clothing, melee weapons. <laughs> food and drink, which is the most important thing, really, and, and insulation in Daisy. You couldn't have dreamed for a better start, really. Finding shit everywhere. Finding shit on zombies. Let's see, make sure no one's just coming up the road. Alright, it's been quiet. We haven't seen anyone. We've seen the trap zombies. So we've seen one bit of evidence that someone was ahead of us. More food. It's, it's, it's like ridiculous how much we've got now. I'm not even going to bother cooking it up, but we're just going to reflect. On our way out, there's a building, which would be the last one I would loot if I was going out that way. When I've got this much stuff, yeah, like I say, the only reason I would loot is because I'm looking for a, an IG uh, mag. A double barrel. Even though we haven't got slugs, we might pick some up somewhere. So I would... Oh, there. Now, if all the doors are shut, then that Z was trapped in that building. So someone trapped that Z. Could have been a while back though, so. But you've got to be on your toes. I mean, someone was. It could be our friend who was ahead of us, trapping Zeds at the Berezino Medical, you know? <coughs> Shut up, Granny. <coughs> Just do us a favor and drop. There you go. Yeah, she was trapped in here, hundred percent. Sprinted up the stairs because if someone was there holding an angle, he probably would have panicked and misfired. That's the theory, anyway. The well, if I needed it. Another screwdriver, no thanks. He served me well before. Like I say, I am desperate for a weapon, so I would go out of my way just to loot places. These rooms sometimes hold mags and shit. Hello there. Oh, you got a slapping, cheeky bitch. Do us a favor, sweetheart. Fuck off.
get a nice little overview of the town from this ledge up here as well. You could see if there's smoke coming from buildings. Maybe someone's come up behind you and made a fire. Or made one on their way out. They went anti-clockwise as well, the same way we're going. Just not getting very lucky with... I can't complain in terms of the food and everything. We're going to have a look at that just before we finish this video. What we managed to find. Our inventory is in an absolute disgraceful state. But if I was playing this seriously and we picked a building now, probably a double stilted, and we cooked up our meat that we got, then I would take that opportunity then to, you know, sort the inventory. We might do that anyway. Take five minutes. Capri pants. Green pen. No thanks. Hello? Oh, hello. <coughs> Oh, very aggressive, sir. I will meet that aggression with a hatchet to your head. How do you like that? Seeing if someone was looking at us from inside the piano. Has been known. Someone picks us off now. Say they're already geared, they got better weapons than us, which wouldn't be hard, because we've only got two chambered weapons. They're going to have a field day when they search me because <laughs> we've just been a loot goblin because I'm doing it for the purposes of almost a beginner loot guide. If you're a beginner, you're going to need to pick this shit up. Don't be afraid to hoard at the beginning. A lot of people will tell you only pick up what you need. I think you need to get experience first, though, to know what you're going to need before you go inland. And I could show you that before we log this off if I don't get sniped. We'll jump by two or three geared guys now. I'll try and show you what I would do to strip down the loot before going inland. There's another leather kit. But in terms of weapons, fuck. I probably I wouldn't be able to go inland yet. I'd have to go to Upper Berezino, check the police station up there, maybe jump some person, try and get a PvP kill to get a weapon. Because we've had absolutely no luck up here. Or in the summer camp. It would be your choice if you wanted to get another chicken to add to the, the selection of meats we've got. But I'm not going to bother now for the purposes of this. Don't overlook these toilet blocks. Many a time we've found ammo in these. Not today. Not that one anyway. As I come to this angle, look, lovely angle to see if someone is walking up the road, isn't it? From Berezino or looting the first couple of houses. Have a look. Just try and be aware of your your potential enemies around you. Don't be a captain oblivious. You can still get jumped. Don't get me wrong. Getting a fire going as well would mean we would skin, peel, sorry, and bake those potatoes to get more calorific output from them if you like Ca calorific oh an mk2 we haven't got an mk mag so even though it was badly damaged if we had a mag i would take it because it's a decent zombie killer just takes the 22 rounds and you can just <laughs> pop the zeds particularly in milli zones it's nice to, to little clip the Z the zeds I'm going to leave these zombies alive outside. There's a reason for that. Okay, the doors are shut. They can't get me. They've given away my position massively, if anyone was watching. But they're going to go back to reset once they calm down. And uh, they can act as like bodyguards, if you like. So let's have a look what we got. Excuse the aggro zombies. An hour nine into the run. A CR rifle, which we can chamber, four shots. An IJ, which we can chamber, 12 shots. It's not great in terms of the guns. We would get our fire going with that. That's now damaged. We would cook that on the fire. We would drink that. We would drink that. We would eat that. We would drink that. We would cook that on the fire. Cook the meat, of course, on the fire as well. The fat. 
and that bit of fat. Okay, that would be our kindling for the fire. So we know now this is the gear that we would take with us. Okay, so you can sort. We've got bits and pieces of ammo. Box of Mosin is nice for, for different things. I want to put that in my backpack, so I'm putting it up there. If I drop my backpack because I want extra stamina and I want to run away, my bandages are in my jeans. Okay? Also, when I cook this food, I'm not going to be able to eat it all straight away, so a couple of bits of cooked meat would end up in there. My, so my uh, leather sewing kit can now go in there. Look at the medical supplies. Rope and bones to go fishing. Binos. Chlorine. Saline bag if we lose blood. Rags to replace the foot wraps that we're currently using. And hand wraps if they get damaged. Battery, you never know. Can opener. But if we had to drop the, the backpack and go, it's not going to be the end of the world. Okay? Not going to be the end of the world. See, you hear them Zeds outside now? Nice and quiet again. They're going to aggro now because I'm lying prone. If they aggro, someone is outside 100%. We got two hunting knives we picked up at the Kelm summer camp and a hatchet as a melee, which can also chop trees and cut shit down and cut up chickens, etc. So, not bad. What I do see drink the cans of soda, eat the pajka, because that's the stuff we're not going to be putting on the fire. Okay, so now, look, our food and water is going up. Three arrows on both. Temperature's white. Blood and health is both full. We've been quite lucky with the Zeds. You know, we haven't seen anybody. We've seen trap zombies, but we haven't actually seen any other players. So we've been lucky in that respects. Not that I care if you've watched any of my videos. You know, I love a bit of interaction, a bit of PvP, a bit of betrayal, whatever. Now, normally this would all be in my inventory and I wouldn't walk, be walking this across. But I'm going to do it just because we're here. Show you how quick it is to get a fire going. We had the sticks ready. We made them into short sticks. We added the kindling. And now... Cook the fat. the meat on to smoke ready we need to peel our potato before we can do anything with those so we do that now while it's cooking while the meat is already cooking saving time see we're cooking and we're working peeling our potatoes doing doing sort of admin duty I would call it so they're ready to go on there once these this lot is cooked. And that inventory is looking a lot better now. That's not perfect, but I mean... Okay. One bit of fat. Another bit of fat. And these are nearly 100% pieces of fat as well. That's a good piece of... These chicken breasts are 100 that one's only half, what, 55%, but yeah, look at that, 88%, 88%, 100%, 100% chicken breast, and we cut that chicken up with the hatchet, so if anyone tells you you need to do it with a steak knife or kitchen knife to keep 100% of the chicken, they're talking bullshit. You can overheat, this is not Namolsk, this is not green hell, so you can overheat and start losing health by standing in front of the fire for too long, but I wouldn't trip over it. You're not going to lose enough to be dying. It's not like when you stand in a fire by accident. See, now if someone rushes in this building, they're going to assume I'm right in front of the fire. So I come over here to eat my first bit of meat, make room in the inventory. Eat my second bit. The Chevron steaks are now gone. I haven't got to carry them. They're in my belly. That's the best place for them. They're not going to take up inventory space. I 
I know when things are nearly cooked by the sound because I've been playing this game for quite a long time. I knew that chicken was imminent, that's why I come back over. That's in the inventory. We're going to have two baked potatoes as well, which are going to give us a nice bit of nutrition. We can carry them with us once they're cooked. The chicken is the quickest thing to cook. Eat, sorry. So we get it down us. Still haven't had the full stomach symbol yet. See, so we just keep eating. Got the heat buff. It's gone back down to white. Potatoes won't be long. Done. Get the baked potatoes down us. Basically leaving the most nutritious thing, the fat, for last. So that if we get the full stomach symbol after eating these potatoes, and I wanted to just bounce. I don't care that it's dark out. I've got the heat buff. We've done what we wanted to do. Organized. You can, if you want, you know, put stuff like this that's ruined in the fire. You might think, oh yeah, burn it. People won't know you're here then with the drop loot. Well, they're going to know because the ashes are going to be in the fire. See? Pristine still. Worn. Pristine. Worn. Pristine. 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 We don't need to fix up any of our shit. While it's dark outside, I would keep eating until we get the full symbol. And we may not get it. We may eat all this and not get it. But it's going to be very, very, very close. There we go. Now we've got it. So that white apple is going to be full by the time we eat this fat. We've got the heat buff. All our vitals are white, full blood, full health. We've got loads of utility in this backpack. But if we have to drop it and run for the extra stamina, if you look on the, the bottom left, there, see the stamina go up to like 95%. Then I put it back on my back drops there to about 75%. So if I need to run in a gunfight, I can drop that bag and I will still have on me my bandages, any food that I haven't eaten, my blades, my ammo, any pistols. Obviously the, the CR's on my back. It's probably going to be in my hands in a gunfight. I think that's just a running zombie, but... Scared the shit out of me. Yeah, it's that fucking clamber there. But yeah, it's nice to have these things. And if I win the gunfight, I can go back. I can remember where, what tree I've stashed my backpack in. And I can go back for my rags, my medicine. The shit that fixes things. Chlorine, binos, fishing shit. But... If I have to just go like that, get the extra stamina and bounce and be able to run for further to, to flank someone, change position. Like I say, it's nothing I can't live without. To be honest, I could always do that as well. Just before I drop it, with this backpack you can put your water bottle on there, but I could just do that as well. Now I've got my water as well as food. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Bit of a beginner's guide showing you how I would loot if I get a lower Berezino spawn and I go up to Kelm Summer Camp and Kelm Village itself. And it wasn't the greatest find in terms of the weaponry, but everything else. You'd have to say an hour into your life, an hour 20, you'd be relatively happy to go inland now and see where your daisy adventure takes you. But thanks for watching. Subscribe, like. If you don't mind, if you've enjoyed it, learnt anything from this little walkthrough, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.